Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for pressing play on the video. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demo here in the UK. And today I have another card project for you. Very simple little card for you today. Um, it's this one here. And I'm going to admit right at the start of the video that this is almost completely cased um, from another lovely demo who's called Dina Reckow. And she's a, a demo in the States. And this set, stamp set that I'm using today was her million sales um, stamp set. But if, you, if you've managed to sell a million um, with Stampin' Up, it's it's in CSV, so it's a, they adapt, they've got their own kind of currency so that it doesn't have to be dollars or pounds, because obviously that would be unfair because they're different um, values. Um, so they use CSV, but if you sell a million CSV, um, you get to design a stamp set and this is the stamp set that Dina um, designed and then she put a post on her blog where she had done loads of samples and I loved them all. I loved this set way before the catalogue was released. I knew this was going to be my the first one that I um, signed up for and I love it. Haven't used the dies yet. There's some gorgeous dies to go with all the stamp, all the, there were a lot of the stamps, but the stamp set is fab. Um, and I'm, I've already used quite a lot of it and I will be using more. And this one just uses four stamps from it. You need the little um, flower. So there's three, three main solid flowers here. A big one, a medium one and a little one. We're using the little one today. And then we're using this scribbly one as well, this outline one. And then two little leaves. And there are some outlines for the leaves, but I've left them off today. I'm just using just the, the, the fill-in leaves. And then the big happy, which I love, and the birthday. So it's a birthday card. I've used um, Magenta Madness for this one, which I love, which is exactly what Dina used. And then I've used some of these little um, pearls, which are part of the Hydrangea Suite in the new catalogue. I'm trying to think, I think they're called Pretty Something. I guess I could just have a quick look in my catalogue. I can show you this in middle of the catalogue now that it's out. I wasn't allowed to do that before it came out. Here we go. Pastel pearls, they're called, and you get them in lots of four different colours. They're beautiful. You find them here. Absolutely beautiful. So I've used these, which are a kind of white, but actually they're kind of bluey grey as well. They're kind of neutral. And there's some pale pink ones, some lilac ones, and some dark. So I think that's gorgeous grape. Mm, I think that might be Purple Posy. I'm not sure what these are. I haven't got the packaging anymore because I um, did, went halves with um, my friend Jez, who, by the way, is ill at the moment with COVID. So um, if you do follow Jez, please send her a get well message and wish to give her all the best because, um, yeah, she's, not, she's feeling very poorly at the moment. So I'm just hoping that she recovers quickly and can get back on it, um, really. Anyway, let me show you how to make this card. Really, really easy. Love it, love it, love it. Right, okay, so we're going to change up the colour today, of course. We're going to use Gorgeous Grape. I thought we'd do a purple one. Um, so what I'm going to do is get my trimmer. Where should I put it? And this is an A4 sheet of card, which I'm going to trim down to... I'm going to do it 14 and a half, I think. 14 and a half centimetres. So it's just less than half an A4 sheet. But if you do it 14 and a half, it will make the measurements much easier. Um, so that's our card blank. And then I need to turn it round. And because it's 21 centimetres along here, I'm going to score it at 10 and a half, which will score it in half to give us the card blank to start with. So there we are. And then we need two pieces of, we need two panels of white, one for the front and one for the centre. And I've done those a centimetre smaller all the way around so that there's half a centimetre border. So if my card blank was 14 and a half, that means this needs to be 13 and a half. So I've lined it up against the 13 and a half measurement along there. And then needs to be nine and a half this way. And that should layer very nicely onto our card and give us a border all the way around. You can go for a narrower border if you'd like. You don't have to have such a wide border. I quite like it with that wide border. And I'm just going to do, while I've got my trimmer out, I'm just going to do the other one as well. So 13 and a half this way. So that's a centimetre. It was 14 and a half, the, the purple, the gorgeous grape. And I've done that 13 and a half. And this was 10 and a half. So I'm going to do this in nine and a half. 
and that should be all that we need our trimmer for today. I'm then going to bring in my bone folder and just go around the edges because where you cut um, it just with the trimmer as the blade pushes it down you just get a little bit of lip and I don't like that so I just smooth that out and then that's perfect that's no problem now and I'll just do this so if I feel this one I can feel the lip here where we um, cut it on the trimmer so just use your bone folder to fold that out which is fine now before I glue the panel down onto my card blank I'm going to do the stamping just because in case I do it wrong I don't want to have to throw away the card blank as well so as you know I very rarely do anything wrong usually I just find a way to um, correct it but just in case I do something irreversible so you can see from here I've got happy birthday and then I've got three little flowers so I'm going to do the happy first um, so it's this big stamp here absolutely lovely love love it love it love it um and the set has got all sorts of um different things that you can put with it so you can put happy birthday which is what i'm doing today um you make me happy sending lots of happy happy mail and then there's just a little for you which i used on my card on tuesday i think um so let's take the happy ink it up with memento make sure it's nicely covered And then doesn't have to be precise placement, but it wants to be nearer the top than the bottom and nearer the right hand side than the left. But doesn't need to be too precise. Give it a nice big push there. Lovely. OK, and then we're just going to do the birthday in black as well. So I've just got the birthday mounted here and I'm just going to do that underneath. Like that. There we go. That's our two our, um, sentiments stamped. And then we're going to take the little flower. Um, and you can see they're not quite symmetrical, these. So I just need to make sure that I know. Um, I don't know. I, I, I did try. I did manage to line it up on here. Um, and then I didn't. On these two and I don't think it ne necessarily matters but I would like to see what my trick was there really um, I don't think I'm gonna bother I'm, go I'm gonna look at that later another time and maybe give you a little tip for it what I normally do is if I can work out that there's a way that they need to go I then put a little bit of um, sharpie where, where it's going to be the top of top of the stamp so I suppose I could just try putting this on top here Actually, that looks quite good. Is that it? I might have done it already. I think that's it. So I'm going to put this one this way. So they should... Oh, I don't know, because it's the other way around. Is it? No, that should be fine. Oh, I don't know. Obviously taping this too late at night. Um, right, OK. So I'm going to start off with Gorgeous Grape and the fill-in stamp. And I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it quite as dark as it is. And I'm going to do one up here. And then I'm going to do two over here, one there. So pretty, these stamps. I love this watercolour effect on them. There we go. And that's that. And then I'm going to come in with the outline one and I'm going to try and line it up, which might mean putting my head in the way. So excuse me while I do that. Um, try and do that. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if they don't line up exactly because it's that kind of stamp set. It's not a very precise kind of stamp set. Now, what did I do here? Did I move this round? Oh no, I think it goes like that. There we go. Could have stamped that a bit better. And then, there. I will have a look at this stamp set and try and line it up a bit better and let you know about that another day. Right, that's all my um, gorgeous grape um, stamping. I'm then gonna come in with Granny Apple Green and the two little leaves. And I'm just gonna pop some leaves in. I'm gonna put these ones down here to start with. I'm gonna put these ones up here. And I'm gonna put 
these ones maybe over this side so you can decide where you think they go best um, and that's all the stamping apart from in the center so let's just take our card um, our piece of card for the center go back to our gorgeous grape again stamp the gorgeous grape stamp it off once and then oh no I need that still don't need to close it and then stamp it with the, with the outline oh, I can't get this lined up now there we go there we go that's fine um, and then two little leaves there as well one up here and one down here and that just carries the theme through into the middle of the card now before I stick my um, my um, card front down on my card blank it's gonna go oh, nice nice and gorgeous grape isn't it I'm quite liking that um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of twine around here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of tear and tape put two little bits of tear and tape across here so that when the twine is wind round, it will have somewhere to stick. And I'm using some retired twine. It's nearly all gone now. This is my live, but I loved it. It was um, white with silver. And I don't think we've got anything like that in the catalog anymore, but any kind of twine will do. Or you could do it with ribbon. You might have a piece of matching ribbon. So any thread or ribbon or twine you could use. We have got Whisper White in the catalogue now and Whisper White would work fine. Or you could colour it with blends. You could colour um, your Whisper White with blends and do it that way. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to, this is all going to go wrong on camera. I did it perfectly when I did it on my own, but it probably all go wrong. So I'm just going to, what I'm actually going to do is, is I want to make sure I've got enough hanging over to tie a bow. That's what I need to make sure. So you've got to have a bit of a length there. So I'm gonna lay that on the two pieces of tear and tape, which will keep that in position. And then with the bit that's not the end, just wind round once and twice, and then cut off again. Help if I have some scissors out, get my snips. Like so. And then we've just got to tie a bow here, which, as you know, um, sometimes goes right on camera, sometimes goes completely pear-shaped. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's just that I have to be at a different angle on camera, but sometimes some of the things that I find incredibly easy when I'm just crafting away with no pressure, as soon as I try and do them on camera, they go pear-shaped, but hey-ho. There we go. Um, I'm doing, I'm recording, I'm actually recording this video on Thursday evening to go out on Friday, which is much later than I normally would do it. But I've had a very stressful week because my daughter um, woke up in the middle of night, um, three nights ago now, in dress. She doesn't live with me. She lives with her fiance in Brighton and Hove. Um, and she woke up in dreadful pain, stuck with dreadful stomach pains. And... Um, by the time she, she managed to phone, I'm so sorry, I'm going to undo that because the, 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 the loop has, has twisted round. I don't want it like that, so I'm going to start again. Um, yeah, she woke up in dreadful pain and, as you know, we're in lockdown here. So um, she um, called 111 who arranged for a doctor to ring her and she had to wait for the doctor. She was in agony all this while waiting. Finally, a doctor rang and told her to go to A&E. She rang for an ambulance and there were no ambulances available at all so they had to get a taxi because they don't have a car and they didn't want to go on public transport it was the middle of the night anyway um so they went to um a and e and of course she had to go in on her own she's 27 my daughter but you still worry about her as a mother um and anyway she went to a and e um and they took a blood test and told her she had acute appendicitis and that she needed to come back the next day for a scan but sent her home because they didn't have a bed um and so she went home 
with some painkillers that they gave her, but the painkillers didn't even touch the pain. And th um, so a couple of hours later, she had to say to her boyfriend, I'm really sorry, I've got to go back. So they trottled old back, got another taxi back to the hospital and she went into A&E and they did, I mean, I'm not blaming any of them, any of the workers there because I know how incredibly busy they are and stressed at the moment. Absolutely the wrong time to need an emergency operation. Um, but um, she went in and they gave her morphine and kept her in, um, which I was quite pleased about because at least she was in the right place then. Um, and she had the scan the next day and they decided it wasn't a acute appendicitis after all. It was um, an ovary on her, a cyst on her ovary. And eventually, after waiting about 24 hours, they managed to operate and they had to remove the cyst and the ovary, unfortunately. But the cyst had grown so big that it had strangulated the ovary and it was dead anyway. So there was nothing they could do to save it. Um, so that's all been a very traumatic. She's on the road to, men to mending now. She's still in hospital, but on the road. But I haven't been in, while she was in hospital waiting for the op, I wasn't able to settle to anything. And I should have been doing this video and I just couldn't settle um, while I was waiting to hear about her. So hence, I am doing this very, very late, but even late for me. I do, I'm in last minute Lil all the time, but actually not quite so last minute as this. But anyway... I'm feeling a lot better now. I know she's well, she's fine. She's still in hospital, she's still being looked after quite well. And hopefully she'll be able to come home tomorrow. No, that's not on straight. So let's try and peel that off. So the wiggle room that um, Tombo gives us, will let us do that. That wasn't quite on straight. So let's try and straighten that up. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a good thing about Tombow. It will give you a little bit of wiggle room to do that. And then the last, oh, we're going to stick in the middle panel. And glue that inside. So yeah, that's been my week. So I've got my friend, you know, you all know how friendly I am with Jez and she's unfortunately ill with COVID. And then my daughter needing an emergency op and being in hospital and not being able, I mean, the worst thing is not being able to go and see her because we're in lockdown and I'm shielding anyway. Oh, should I put that up there? I might do it that way. I was going to put it down in the other corner, but I quite like it up there. Um, not being able to go and see her is a real, real, real anguish for a mother. Um, but her boyfriend will look after her and I know she'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, that's been my week. So I hope you've had a better start to 2021 than me because I'm, I'm kind of feeling that's it. That's enough bad news now. Thank you very much. I've had enough already this year. Um, so I don't need any more. Um, I don't need any more people I know and love being ill. Um, so Right, and then we're going to use some more of these um, lovely pearls. Um, I am quite tempted to use the same colour again, although we could go for the dark purple. What do you think? Dark purple? Actually, we'll go for the dark purple. We'll go for these ones because it does match in with that ink quite nicely. Again, you can see the value of having stamping up things because I've got cardstock, I've got ink, and I've got now got these pearls and they all match perfectly. And I know very well that if I'd used um, any other um, makes of things, I would have been just trying to find something that matched this, the ink that matched the card, the pearls that matched and so on. Anyway, there we are, our two lovely cards. Love, love, love them. Um, really happy with that stamp set. Love these lovely bright colours as well, but you could do them in pastel colours as well. That would be quite nice. But anyway, that's it from me today. If you haven't got a copy of our um, mini new spring catalogue, which is what, where this stamp set is, um, please let me know and I can send you one. Or on the right, right hand um, navigation of my blog, there'll be a PDF that you can just click on and you can look at the PDF of the catalogue. We also have celebration going on at the minute, which means that if you place an order for £45, you can choose a free stamp set or free pack of papers. And then there's a couple of things that if you spend £90, there's a couple of things you can get as well. So it's a great, great time um, to be spending. Um, all that Christmas money you got, maybe to treat yourself. And if anyone would like to talk to me about joining my team, I'd be only too happy to help. £99 you pay, you get £130 worth of goods, any products you like, plus you get five packs of our designer series paper family stacks. 
um, which are lovely and I used on some tags a while ago um, and they're worth about £50 so that's about over £180 worth of product for only £99. You don't have to do anything else if you don't want to. You can buy that and you can walk off into the sunset. If you wanted to buy anything else you'd get a 20% discount um, and you could actually see if you've got any friends that would like to buy something through you and you might even make a bit of commission. But you don't have to. I must stress that you don't have to at all. That's it from me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed my project today and I will be with you again very, very soon. Bye.